to our game predictions. If you were watching our Bleacher Report, you would have seen our prediction already. But, hey, if you're making bets this weekend, you might, you might, you might want to listen to what J.D.'s got to say. Um, okay, so Chiefs on the road going to Jacksonville, three-point favorite. Um, yep. Obviously, rematch of the AFC Divisional game last year where we played, where Mahomes had the famous ankle sprain uh, comeback game, the famous – Jordan like flu game for uh, Patrick Mahomes. Um, oh, right. <laughs> uh, came back and won that game. Uh, but obviously, we, we mentioned to the, some of the additions they have Calvin Ridley, a new guy they have in house, um, looked great last week against Indianapolis. So, obviously, these aren't the same teams they were last year. Um, however, no. um, they looked good last week. There, a lot of people are picking them to, to be the one seed in the AFC, um, in the AFC playoffs this year. Well, but they're meeting this week. Chiefs three point favorite on the road. The total points of this game, JD, is fifty-one points, highest point total of the weekend for any NFL game. So, JD, who do you have, and why? Uh, so, I, you know what? I, I'm not shocked after watching all of those, like the first week, all the kind of low scores. You know, the bad ball. Uh, we sit there and we watched. We talked about this. I, I want to bring this point up though first. <laughs> Talk about all the guys that lost. Okay, I think I brought this like, man. All I seen was 45 million, 55 million, 54 million, and 30 something of guys that lost. They, you know, all these, you know, top quarterbacks, okay, making all this money, losing. Okay. And uh it, it it, you know, it's one of those things they're looking for this week for guys to come back. What's gonna be now? Okay. These guys making all the money out of the face of the of, of the of the NFL. PM50 is going to come up, man. He's going to hang up at least uh, four touchdowns. So they, they're going to get 31 points. It's going to be 31 28 Kansas City. That's what I'm looking at. Trevor Lawrence is another one. He's going to put up a lot of points. You know, defense is going to play well. They're going to play well. It's going to, they're going to, and the thing is, it's going to be a sneaky 28. It is going to be a sneaky 28. You know, considering who we playing against, 28 is, is not being a, it's not a bad, bad job. Right, you always look twenty one under that, twenty eight, you know, because it's Jacksonville. They'll sneak one in. We know that, but Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, thirty one twenty eight. That's what I'm looking at. So, uh, on the that's what that on the live stream you mentioned that you think so. You said you said Mahomes this is a new I, I, four touchdowns for Mahomes. Uh, how many of those go to Travis Kelsey, and then how many sacks Chris, does Chris Jones get? So I, I had two of those going to go to Travis Kelsey, two touchdowns because he just he's 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 ready. He was ready last week, man. He just oh my gosh, he just looked so sad because he couldn't do nothing out there. And I feel his pain. I've been there. I've been there where you hurt. You just thank God he just want to do it. You know what you can make a difference in this. So he going he's gonna look. He gonna dial him up for two. You know, dime to dummy for two. That's what I'm looking at. And then of course Chris Jones on the other side. You know, come do his little wave. Like you're talking about the chip on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take a munch out of both of them. We're like, look, I'm going to go out there and get at least one sack. Shoot, I give him one and a half, to be honest with you. So this week, Travis Kelsey, two touchdowns. Chris, one and a half sacks. So that's what I'm looking at. And these guys are going to come out there, and they're going to come out hitting. Because uh, they need to. They need to. So we need uh, the, the defense right around Chris. Okay. Everybody come in like Patrick said. These open arms. We're gonna work him back to open arms. It was never close to him. Never close to him. They are happy for him. They happy for him themselves. Uh, but yeah, that that's what it's gonna be, man. 31-28. 31-28, man. Two t- TDs. Pat uh, Travis Kelsey eight seven two of them. I like it. Um, just a fun one. So short yardage plays was it was the big topic last week. Oh yeah. Will we see? For the first time since that Thursday night game against Denver, will we see a Patrick Mahomes QB sneak this Sunday? No, no, no. And 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 I that to me would be fourth and inches, yes. But fourth and one or three, three third and one, no. You, you better hand hang it hand it off to your running backs. And hand it off to them jokers. That's what you do, okay? And you put it on that offensive line, that jogging out of an offensive line that we have, okay? And you tell them bow their backs up and come off the football with some oomph. We need, we need, we need to bench some guys right now. 
And I'm not, I'm not talking about put them on the bench physical. I'm talking about lifting them up like bench presses. Bench press some guys. How about that? Bench press the defensive line. Because we need to see that, man. We need to look, explode and with our hips. Need to see some hard steps with, you know, boom, 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 boom. Boop, 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 boop. I always say that. Boop, 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 boop. That's the that's the steps. Steps got to be that fast. Do, 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 do. You know, it's like rhythm. You know what I mean? It's that's what it sounds like. That's how fast the beat got to be to move guys. And so that's what I'm looking for, man. I'm looking at hard hitting, establishing football, tough football. I'm putting a challenge on the offensive line, man, to get these yards on the running game, man. We got to get that established. We have got to do that right now. We have to. Can't wait on it. Yeah, and I think as far as like you talk about rhythm, just the the, the the footwork, but I think the rhythm, and this is something that I think just mo- most teams around the league, unless you have a bell cow running back, I think it's going to be hard to establish rhythm with the running back with the, with the committees they got. I mean, I, I think the splits as far as the the, the carries last week was seven, seven, and like and like two. I mean, it was kind of kind of wild that the, the the no running back, especially a guy like Pacheco, they kind of have to get they kind of have to get the ball a lot more to get a rhythm, especially. We talk about, you know, a guy who didn't play, hardly play in preseason, but he comes right out of the gate, gets seven carries. I mean, how is, he, how is anyone supposed to get rhythm with seven carries? It, it's, it, you can't. It's tough. It's tough to do. You know, you almost got to be like a light switch. And we know nobody's a light switch in the NFL. You know, you got to work a guy up into what he's doing. So give him some looks, give him some, some totes, okay, and we'll be better for it. Offensively, we'll be better for it. That way, we won't have to always just rely on patting his arm and these wide receivers and whatnot. Like we got, we got good running backs. We do. We got some really good, fine running backs. Okay, hard nosed running backs will run, uh, and I trust them. Pacheco, McKinnon, Ch. I trust. I trust those guys. I really do. You know, everybody wanted to say about running in the lanes and stuff, and not look. I trust these guys. I trust them. Okay, we just need an offensive line. Establish it, you know, right now in, the, in right there in that that the trenches. Games went up front. That's what's win the game right there. Yeah, and I think our offense can can do something. I mean, Indianapolis wasn't supposed to have a powerhouse offense, and they uh, nearly had three hundred yards last week uh, with a rookie quarterback. So, like, I mean, I think yeah. you can run on these guys. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.